All right, it's time to mount some panels. Now, mounting the panels is one of those spots in any installation where there's a bit of a catch-22. There's a clip to hold the panels on at the end of the run, and there's a different clip to hold them on at the middle of the run. The reason there's a catch-22 here is you have to basically tighten all of them at the same time, which is, of course, not all that easy. Good news is, our roof here has a really high tilt. It's going to take two people just to hold up the panel. We're going to need a third person to tighten them down the nuts. On a real roof where the slope might be anywhere from 20 to 30 degrees, this goes much easier. So here we go. We're going to start by making an end clamp, which, as you've seen before, is a slightly longer bolt, lock washer, flat washer. Same ones you've been using all day. Go through the end clamp assembly, which is different for each one. And look what I forgot, the K-nut. Got to have the K-nut on the end, and in we go. End clamps are easy to work with because you're always at the end of the rail, so you can always slide in. You don't have to clip in. So here we go. Just slide in our end clamp. Don't tighten them down. Just leave them nice and loose. They're not going anywhere. All right, now it's time for the mid clips. Mid clips work the same way. They look a little different, but really no, no difference in mounting. Again, our panel is going to be located somewhere around centered over the microinverter, so the edge of the panel is probably going to be around here. Take your clip. Just like we did last time, I'm going to click in by inserting the nut and then pushing up on the bolt. That's one mid clip in. Now for the bottom rail, clipping in again, and we're done. It's time to put up a panel. All right, it's time to mount our first panel. We just pick any run that you like and start at your edge, work your way down the row. Panels normally come with two cables on the back, or most of them do. And I'm just going to pull off the tape. Now you'll notice these connectors, which are called MC4s, have a male and female. So do the connectors on your inverter. One of the big advantages to using a microinverter is that there's no power anywhere in the circuit until everything is connected together. So right now we're going to connect the panel onto this, and even though it's a beautiful sunny day and the panel is actually generating power, there's no electricity on the roof. The microinverter is a really big safety advantage in that respect. So the connector is simply pressed together. That's one. That's two. And we're done. We're ready to mount the panel. So we've just blocked our panel up just so we could show you how the clamps go on. There's not much to it. Our panel's just lying on top of our rails now. We're going to slide our clamps on, and once again, we're just going to finger tighten them. Now again, on a roof with a tilt like this, this would be a two-person job. On most roofs with a lower tilt, it's easy enough to do with a one person, but a second person always comes in handy. Now this is the place where having four arms comes in handy because as soon as I've tightened down these, I really have to rush over and tighten the second set down. Putting a little weight on the panel to hold it up against the rail helps, but there's not a lot of friction between the rail and the panel, so just keep your eyes open. All right, it's time for the mid clamps now. Now, of course, there's going to be a second panel here, and he's also going to be held in by the same clip. So when you're doing the mid clips, again, don't tighten them all the way down. Just friction fit them. That's enough. Move down to the bottom rail. Once again, same kind of idea. Just get them on there, give them a turn with your fingers, and you're finished. Now it's time for the second panel. All right, our second panel's in place. Josh is uh, behind the camera here, just helping me hold the panel in place, and he's gonna help me push it over to here. So again, we're gonna align the panels up, just eyeball it, tighten it down by hand. That's one. Move to the bottom, again, just slide the panels together. Having somebody help you here is very useful. Tighten it down by hand. That's it for our mid clips. I'll see you again at our end clips. All right, here it is, our last set of end clamps. Once these are up, our array is finished. Simply slide them back over. And again, I'm not going to tighten this all the way. But our panels aren't going anywhere. As soon as these clips are finger tightened, they're in place. Our array is almost finished now. All that's left is the final electrical wiring off the end and the final grounding. We're not going to show these steps. They're in the manual. Weaves are behind all of our active components. 
Our string is complete. All the electrical power is coming out right here from our microinverters. Because we're using microinverters, this is not live. I could lick it if I wanted. It's perfectly safe until every part of the circuit is completed right into your house. That's about it. I hope you've enjoyed it. I know it's been a bit long, but I hope there's some tips in here. Use this video, combine it with the stuff that's in your manual, and don't be afraid to ask questions on the forums or email or even give us a call whenever you need some help. That's it. Thanks for watching.